Hi guys, I'm back again. This time in the beautiful Lake District on Olds Water for a spot of kayaking and wild camping. <sighs> Can't get much more prettier than this. And I'm heading over to that island over there. That's my home for the night to at least tomorrow, tomorrow dinner time. So I hope I don't get bored. I hope I can find lots of things to do. And I'm pleased you guys have come along for the adventure. Ugh. Feast your eyes at that. Absolutely beautiful here. Right in the middle of Old's Water. Then. Some geese. Hello. Hello, you're a pretty bird, aren't you? Hello. Looks like it's a haven for wildlife. Oh, the birds are nesting. It's all right. I won't come in here, ah, uh. uh, that's sitting on there, uh, on eggs now. I know, I'm away. It's alright on here, like it's a... Uh... Quick pan around, give these a, give these a look. Thing coming here, and now one thing geese are very noisy in them. Um, uh, I've actually it's a nesting area, and basically, if I try to camp here, that I'm either gonna force them to abandon the, the eggs or they're just gonna keep us awake all night with a shrieking on. And this would be the only nice place to set up a little camp like but a couple of birds just up there as well and the nests are only a few meters away so no. plan B go back up to Cherry Home Island the one I overshot before so I started down there where the pier is at the Oldswater Hotel Cherry Home, that was where I camped about three years ago. I overshot that. And when I came across Wall Home, which I thought was Cherry Home, I thought that doesn't look like Cherry Home, it has to be further on. But that isn't uh, Cherry Home, it's Norfolk Island, that's where I am now. So I've got to come a mile all the way back. And it's uh, half four. Plenty of time, it's not going to get dark for three hours or so, so. In fact, not even that, maybe it's four hours. Bit of a wasted journey that. But it was another island to explore. <sighs> now it's uh, a male trek back up against the current, against the wind. I'm looking forward to this. But well, at least I've been here, I've had a look. It was an experience. I could have camped here, but I mean, them geese are quieting down quite a bit. But as soon as I've got the boat ready to leave, they were shouting and squawking on and that, so I probably wouldn't have gotten any sleep tonight. 
because they are noisy and they like to get up before me anyway so and I like a bit of a lion in the mornings but less talk and more paddling <laughs> But who's going to complain, you know, when you've got some, somewhere beautiful as this to go kayaking? I'm not going to complain. I hope I haven't forgot something. There's a lot of going back. Ah. Got the backpack. Got the fishing rod. That's there. Uh, phone. Camera. Obviously. <laughs> hey, not shit, is that? Whoa, yeah. Hey. Whoa. Press record, did I? It's funny how tight we play tricks with your mind. You know, you haven't been back somewhere for a few years. You know, one island looks the same as another. But it's all part of the, the adventure, getting out and doing it. Keeps you fit. I'll probably have arms like pop eye after this weekend. <laughs> uh, that wind's definitely easing off now. And that island there is Wallholm. There's the steamer again. See what that one's called. Western Bell. I'll get hit by the waves in a minute. Oh, they're all waving. Hey! You'll be on YouTube in a couple of days, well, a couple of weeks' time. And he has the waves. It's easier if you steer into them. Here we go. You know, I would hate to be stuck adrift in, in the sea. I wouldn't survive. I'd be spewing me ring. Didn't take long. It took about 30 minutes to get, to get about half a mile, I would say. I mean, these boats aren't the most aerodynamic. I mean, I've got a skeg on the back, which helps keep it from uh, fishtailing, you know, keeps it going in like a straighter line. You know, it's not as streamlined as a canoe. It's not like a... Well, basically, it's just... It's, it's a slow way of getting around, but... You know, it's an effective way of getting around. You know, speed isn't everything. Not a bad at Leyland, that. And that's Walholm. Walholm Island. In the middle of Ullswater. It's a beautiful lake district. It's a lovely little picturesque island, isn't it? No, I mean. Right, we'll head over there now. And that... Excuse me, and that's Cherry Home Island. When I get there, hello. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I'm the gander, so I want to come on there and play too. Was that a note for yes or? A... What, was, what does that mean then? Does that mean I can come on and have a look? 
feel safe because I'm still in the water, eh? It's a lovely little place you can just sail in and park your boat up. Well, I haven't met with much resistance, so see what I mean about this little bay here. Isn't that lovely? Nice little uh, slope where you can just pull your boat up. Not very flat here, mind. But um, over here, this is where I did my wild camp, just here. There you have it guys, this is my home for the night, marooned on an island of my choice, Chevy Home Island in the middle of Ull's water, feast your eyes, what fantastic views eh. Actually had a little peek over there and they have got a nest with eggs. So what I think I'll do is I'm just gonna camp on there. I'm gonna camp right back here in the dip on this gravelly bit. Right guys, what I've done is I've put some gravel down there, well I flattened it out a bit. Uh, I've got the, the kayak at a 45 degree angle which is acting as a nice windbreak. I don't think I'm going to bother with a top because it's not forecast to rain and if it does rain I can move further underneath the kayak there and be protected from the worst of it. And I'm in my bivvy so I'm not going to get wet. Well you know something? I'm too amazed what to do here, you know. <clears throat> I mean, I've got me set up there already. Haven't got much daylight left, maybe it's an hour. But them two geese are, they're not going back to their nest. They've got a massive guilt trip here, like. To the band in our nest for me, you know, because I want to spend night on on an island, their island. What do I just go find somewhere else? But it's getting dark. I'm about 20 yards from the nest, but they're not they're not going to go and sit on it while I'm here. So I think. I pack up now and uh, just head for the over there somewhere. That was a hard decision for me to make, but in a way, it wasn't a really hard decision. You know, the birds would have just abandoned that, that young. And if you look, look, yeah, they're going back. I'm pleased, like, I made the right decision. I would just lay there guilt, feeling guilty all night. We have come away now, so I'll find somewhere else. There's not much light left. I feel a bit better anyway. Yeah, that. Luckily, they've only been off the eggs about an hour. It's not cold, not yet, anyway. It's an eerie place, just like when it gets dark. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going over there. Just look at that, man. Little panorama there for you. I'm not gonna hang around too much, like. And there's Cherry Home Island. Place fell just up there. Been up that one. Right, I'm in the middle of all this water. And 
I've got nowhere to camp. I've got about oh, an hour at the most. The sun's going down about half an hour, but I've got about an hour really before it gets totally dark and then I have to switch my torch on. I think I'm more concerned. I mean, there's plenty of places to camp like, but the main concern is like first thing in the morning, dog walkers or whatever. I don't want to uh, get slashed down first thing in the morning. Nice little reasonably flat beach here. Just run aground. A little platform I can sit and perhaps fish off. Yeah, this is the place. Little bit of dead wood lying around as well. I think if I lie here, that rock gives us a little bit of shelter, although the wind is coming from the other side. So I can put the boat sort of like along, along here. It's locked as a windbreak. Looking above, there's nothing that's gonna really, really big that'll fall on us. So lying down here is probably the best option. Cherry Home Island just seems like a dream to me now. So look at all this beautiful uh, scenery. Even if it's not the place I wanted originally, I've got this little cove here. I mean, I think that's gonna have to be it, really. The only other option is to go around this crag, see what's further down there, but I'm going further than we way and it's starting to get dark, so, you know, I'm sort of like, I'm fighting against the clock here. And I think the same as before, just have the kayak lined at an angle as a windbreak. This time I'll use my seat as a pillow. And I can really sort of like get under here if it gets too bad off it rains, which I don't think it will. And I've got some nice little nooks and crannies to hang my gear off and a little shelving there, ready made. Right, we'll try fishing on the bottom. A couple of small worms on there, they're a bit knackered by the way. It's to come off actually. Uh, I've seen better days, these ones. Not very appetising, but for a hungry fish when there's not much food around, it may just do the job. See, I've got everything sort of half ready, ready to roll out. Obviously, I'm not gonna roll everything out till I'm ready to go to bed because if I move down, I want to be able to just get away in a hurry. You know, I don't want to be like packing everything up again. I can't see me getting moved to be honest with you. It's quiet now, traffic's died down. So, I've got clean drinking water anyway for a brew, but. Rather than, uh, I'm going to boil the water, so I might as well use the water out here because it's clean enough. Obviously, it needs to be boiled, but it's clean enough to the fact where I don't want, I don't need to filter it. No water there. Make a nice brew. And I'm using a nice flat stone pushed in the sand there to hold my pot stand. I'm going to use a buddy burner. And I've got to give uh, Donny Outdoors credit for 
the idea because it was his video I saw that I got the idea from. So great, great idea, mate. Uh, Please, I found your channel. Great channel, by the way. And what I am finding is, one is uh, not really enough to boil the water, so I either cut them thicker next time, or I'll just put a few small twigs on, which will create a very small fire, which will just prolong the burn time and, you know, burn the... It help keep the water a little bit better. There you go, and I've hoid a few twigs in and it's well on the way. And that's where it's at, guys. That's the view I'm gonna wake up to. Got my road still casting over there. There was actually some of the um, jumping before just about five yards out so you see they didn't uh, you don't have to cast miles to catch a fish they do come in and in the um in the sides here when it gets a bit quieter I'm going to try one of these small farmers big taste meals with uh, instant mash. Quick and easy meal, Yorkshire pork, sausage casserole. I've got absolutely loads of these in the house that are going to be used up. They're actually two months out of date, but that's still good for long past that. The wife gets these in when they roll back. They're normally about two pound to buy. Actually, I think I could have just teared that open there. I felt like the little, uh, little nick in the side there. Must be like an easy tear. Yeah, I didn't even need to cut it open. I know for the next time. Yeah, these are rolled back, oh, I think about a pound. Really good value, like. potato in there already. Oh, it's lovely that. Right, we'll get our warmed up. Sausages are a little bit bland, but not bad, but I still prefer the, um, the meatballs. That's the nicest one I've had up to now. I mean, I'd love a Chinese, but I'm not going to get that here. But um, when your food isn't the best, I mean, the views and the scenery makes up for the rest. It's warming. It takes away that hunger pain. It warms you up and it helps you get a good night's nice sleep. I wonder if I'm the only one while camping on the shores of Ullswater tonight. I mean, there's a few here the day because um, being the Easter weekend, but I think a lot of them could just be day trippers. Because come, uh, it's about five, six o'clock, all the boats seem to vanish. Everybody seemed to go home. One thing I've noticed about um, the skies up here in the Lake District in Cumbria, it's jet black, there's no light pollution. It's just a shame as a uh, full moon tonight, there's a little bit of cloud coming in. But uh, if it wasn't for that, it would be jet black. I'll call that a night. It's dark now, I'll roll out me, me mat. Get inside me bivvy and me sleeping bag and I'll just lie here and listen to the birds, the geese, watch the stars, listen to the old car coming past. 
So if you don't hear anything more from me tonight, I'll say nighty night and I'll catch his first thing in the morning. Morning. I had a really good sleep last night. Although that wind did pick up and the water became a little bit more choppy and loud. And it felt like the waves were coming in closer, as if I was, as if I was on a beach. But uh, I'm on an inland lake, it's non tidal, so it was all in the mind. So this is where I slept last night, half under the kayak, giving some protection from the wind. Little camp kitchen there. I mean, it took the brunt of most of the wind, but it was still swirling around because I'm in a kind of little cove here. And, um, you know, there was a slight chilling effect, but the temperature was only forecast to go down to five degrees Celsius. Um, the bag's rated, comfort rating for four degrees Celsius, so, you know, I wasn't going to get too cold. Although there was a slight chilling effect, you know, the wind chill, but on the whole, it was a really comfortable night. Just the sound of them waves woke us up a couple of times. But apart from that, I slept for about eight hours. Fishing wasn't very productive last night, but I think I'll uh, give it another hour. Give it another hour and see what happens. Try spin it a day, see if that catches anything. No luck today. Right guys, I've got to go now, otherwise I'm going to miss me pick up point. I'm staying one more day, so who knows where I'll be sleeping tonight. No luck with the fishing, but I've been lucky with the weather. So stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. And always remember the wild camper's motto, leave no trace.